Yeah, I think that'll be good. Should we go get some dirt? It's in the bumblebee again. Yeah. Yeah, let's get some dirt. That's two loads, let's get four. Okay. Let's head out, man. Right, so, is that, so now we can put the other cardboard back? Do you have the buckets? And the shovels. Hey bud, today we are officially starting our Lawns to Legumes uh, grant program. I'll get the word spit out sooner or later. We are gonna prep our pocket prairie area. Lots of P words today. Um, we have decided with our grant that we're gonna make a pocket prairie in our the south side of the yard, uh, not really our backyard, like our side yard along the side of our house. I've been working on extending our actual vegetable garden along that way, but it's kind of the perfect area. It gets lots of sun. It's perfect for prairie plants and pollinators. And so we're gonna get a little dirty today by picking up all the dirt that we need for the first step of our process. And then tomorrow we're actually gonna start kind of planning out what plants we want. We were originally going to order like a preset, pre-organized set of plants for this program through some of the nurseries that are recommended through the Lawns to Legumes and Blue Thumb website. But we're a little late in the game compared to others apparently and those seed packs are sold out. So we're gonna have to do a little bit more research on what exactly we want. Um, get a little more nerdy than I was anticipating. Um, but I already know a lot about the prairie plants that I'm interested in. We have a couple of them already on our property, so we kind of have an idea of their height and how big they get after a couple years worth of growing. So anyway, I'll quit rambling. Like you guys know I do. Um, we're gonna go get dirty and scoop up some dirt. And we'll show you where we're getting our dirt from today, so. First things first, we gotta go pick up another shovel and some buckets. I don't know, that's not you. Am I good? Thank <laughs> you. 
dirt in my shoe. <coughs> Sando failure. feel like scooping it in a bucket is easier than like yeah. buying it in bags. Well, it's free. But yeah, it also is free. I'm gonna jump out and run home. <laughs> I don't. I, I would hike. I wouldn't run. I don't I, run I unless don't food for that. unless someone or a, like a bear is chasing me or something. No run. A moose? Yeah, a I would moose. run. Well, I don't know. Are you supposed to climb a tree with a moose? They can hide behind a tree if you have to. They can take down trees with their big old racks. <laughs> you can not run a room moose. Well, that's what I mean. You can climb a tree. I guess I don't know. We're gonna have... I don't remember. So today, like I maybe already mentioned before, we're gonna be preparing our site. Step one in this whole project is to actually apply for the Lawns and Legumes program. Um, I'll add some information in writing below this because I can't remember exactly when we applied, but we found out in February, I believe, that we received the grant um, to do this project. And we didn't, I mean, we had a couple ideas of where we were gonna do it along our fence um, or our neighbor's fence. And then we talked about this area too. I've been expanding our vegetable garden. Um, but we haven't expanded this far, but we did have it kind of kill off some of the grass last year with some um, squash plants right there. So anyway, step one is to prepare your ground and remove the sod. And how we're going to do that, how we chose to do it, is that we're going to actually smother or suffocate the grass by putting cardboard down and then this beautiful dirt that we just went and picked up. Um, our dirt is coming from the city. So our local city has like a, a community, I believe this is where it comes from. There's a community leaf site outside of town and I believe that what is composted from that site and other branches and things like that kind of compost down and turns into soil and then that's what they're putting out um, for the community to use. They also do mulch, so hopefully on this project, hopefully in a couple weeks they'll actually have mulch there that we can also put in this project. But anyway, um, this is the site that we're gonna use. I'm not sure exactly how big we're gonna make it today, but I just wanna show you guys kind of a before, some before shots and pictures and things like that. And then we'll just show you how we plan to smother out that grass.
mine.
some more dirt. Yeah, let's go get another load. Okay. Okay. We, have more, we have more boxes, don't we? What? Oh. Yeah, we in action. I'm such a nerd about this kind of stuff. But also, ah, also, we've been trapped in the house for how many months other than ice fishing? Yeah. So that layer of thickness of dirt will help the, um, and the cardboard will help smother out all the grass. So we should have not too many issues with um, grass coming up through. It should smother it all out, but we've never tried this before. We've talked about trying this, but we haven't done it. We're also gonna do like a no-till vegetable garden this year and use, you know, probably can't hear me over the wind. Up, oh, and there you about fell over. Did she? She ran, she got scared from the wind. All right, we're gonna go get another. We're gonna go get another load of dirt. Okay, I lied. We're not going to get dirt. We're gonna lay down the cardboard for the next section. Getting crazy. get the wet foot. That's pretty good. Yeah. I think that's all we should be 
normal baby. People are stealing our dirt. Where are we going? We're going to the city compost site. What's that for? Dirt. Composted dirt. After a little sushi snack. Yeah, we'd have a snack. We had one roll each. One slice of a roll. Just a bit. Not that hard. It would take less time if my wife didn't have to feel the need to GoPro everything. I think you buds want to know what we're up to though. That's true. This is a really cool program and it, I'm pretty impressed with how easy this has been so far. Maybe I'm jinxing myself, but... Watch they all die. No! No, the plants are not going to die. I'm gonna snuggle up with them at night and make sure they stay warm and watered and Probably loved. <laughs> so we're gonna do one more scoop and it's time to eat. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Oof. Get a snack, a sushi roll. Yep. That was really good. I want some wasabi and no, some soy sauce with You gotta that. eat it plain. Sushi oh. plain, no soy, no wasabi. We've really been craving sushi. Our favorite sushi res sushi restaurant burned up um, recently in a couple last maybe two months ago. And we have not noticed that they are doing much to repair the building yet. So we're a little sad if that bu business does not reopen. But we actually discovered that Aldi has sushi in their freezer section. So that's what we've been munching on today. It's not real sushi. It's no. frozen sushi that has fake um, imitation crab, crab on there. Yeah. It was actually codfish. Yeah. But, but it is good. tastes really it's good, very good. Though. I mean, I'm, I would have never thought I'd buy frozen sushi, but I tried her out and right. now we'll probably have sushi at the camper if we don't make our own. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Isn't it beautiful? Except for the wind, the clouds and the sky today are extra 
super beautiful, I feel like. Windy there at the bird site. Yeah, it's super windy. It's crazy windy. Did you stop at a green light or? Oh, yep. Paying attention, I am. She's got gray hair. I have some. Me too. Today is windy hair, don't care day. Is what it is, man. Ugh. I don't know if you call that a blooper. She got stuck. Sun is a powerful beast. Oh, the rock Where'd it go? How'd that happen? Mysteries of life, man. Wet foot. Uh. Wet So for the bees and the butterflies. <laughs> Yeah, I think it looks awesome. I do think we're going to need to do an edge, like you said, with that chunk of wood. And then I want to finish off along here with another strip. That could just be all mulch or something. No, I want to do the cardboard just to make sure the grass dies off. Oh, right.
trip three no. and actually it's trip five because Cole no. did some on his own yesterday he did two loads himself so I gotta turn the recording off because we got the tunes rocking and you're gonna oh, get, you're get in trouble gonna get in trouble by the old tube Shake my shoes out. Mm -hmm. So many people. 